This is where everyone comes to try to be the best. And to win this race means the world to anyone. But this is where I grew up. Like, I, I live here. I grew up here. I was born in the hospital that I can see from this racetrack. You know what I mean? Like, I, I love this event. And uh, when you offer a driver like myself uh, a chance to get back in that race again, it's better than Christmas. Connor Daly on 100 Days to Indy, TV star, fan favorite, perennial Indy 500 contender, and most importantly, for the purposes of this conversation, very comfortable saying what he really thinks. Good morning, sir. Three days out, you ready? We're ready to go. Yeah, it's uh, it's time finally. Uh, this month has sadly gone quite quick because of the rain. Uh, I feel like this has been the shortest month of May I've ever been a part of, only because of how last week went. Um, but uh, it is what it is. We're we're ready to go. We feel comfortable. You know, if, if I would be much more concerned if if we weren't happy with the car, but the car has been awesome. The Dry Ramble team's done a great job uh, to have Polka Dot on board for their first Indy 500 as well. And to be with Chevrolet has been a true pleasure. So, um, you know, we we would we would feel much differently if we were like super concerned and needed like every part of Carb Day. But we're just happy to go into Carb Day with a couple more you know changes that we want to confirm a few things and uh, and then and then let's go racing. You mentioned the polka dot sponsor in a pink car, a checkered flag on a paper. That'd be a fashion disaster, but it'd probably be a dream for you. Do you have the horses to win it this year, even even from row ten? I do believe we do, yeah. I, I think uh, this race can obviously be won from anywhere. We've seen it multiple times. I mean, I've seen uh, my buddy Alex Rossi start in the last row, and I think he was leading the race by about halfway through it. So uh, we've seen Alex Below go all the way to the back after the race even started and then come back through the field. So there's, 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 this race is so unique because your qualifying car is so different from your mm. race car. Um, and, and we've seen that many, many times. I mean, where did Joseph Newgarden start last year? Right dead center in the field. And everyone was like, oh, well, you know, maybe that's maybe it's only the guys in the front two rows that can win. And that's just straight up wrong. So um, there's there's a lot that can happen in this event. Uh, we're really excited about it. I feel really good about our car. I, th I feel like we've been kind of like a under the radar a uh, good car as well because we haven't really you know done any super we haven't gone for those big toe laps like you see a lot of people you know scott dixon was quickest at one point during the day last week scott dixon started in the middle of the field too i don't know if you know how he's feeling about his car so there's there's a lot that's gone on and i feel like we've kind of been just low-key sliding under the radar and uh we've got a good car you're certainly the current holder of hometown favorite. Indiana desperately wants a, a native to win this thing. You, you know the names over the years. Poncho Carter, Tony Stewart, Ed Carpenter, Brian Clausen, now Connor Daly. Is the love from the fans an honor or is it merely added pressure? No, it's the coolest thing ever. I mean, this is the, the greatest I ever feel in my life is here at the Speedway uh, and, and driving out uh, on the track. Uh, and then also hearing <clears throat> hearing everyone at uh, at driver intros, uh, you know, when whenever my my name is said. And then honestly, just looking at the clips from from when we led in 2021 was still probably the coolest thing ever. If I could like hang a virtual photograph like that, that video would be it in my house. Uh, it's pretty pretty cool to see. So um, just means a lot. Love love this state. Love this city. Love representing for for Indiana. Um, love living here. I, I've, I've been all over the world, and this place still is, uh, you know, a place that I truly, truly enjoy. As you and I talk, we're looking at 2021, which was such a close call for you. I still think of you as one of the hot shoes, the young ones in this series. But you're a decade into this now. Um, do you, the the show 100 Days Indie sort of had this implied storyline that Father Time may be trying to catch up with you on the left and pass you. Is that legitimate? Do you think? Hey, I may not have any many more of these shots left. Well, I think you just if I like to be brutally honest because I don't like to paint any false pictures. But, yeah, I mean, it's it's uh, I, you know, you never know how many more chances you've got at it. Right. I, I do believe that I, you know, I've, I've done enough to be here and continue to compete at the highest level. And, and, you know, I would love to do so with this team as well, because we've I think we've developed a great relationship this month so far. Um, and uh, and yeah one day at a time right one race at a time uh that that's kind of how you got to take it and um you know we're we're excited for this one and when this one's over we're going to look towards the next one and try to you know try to put that together so hopefully with polka dot we can do this you know for for many more years ahead and i would love to be full-time in indycar again but uh, obviously uh you know there, there are many more other factors uh you know that, that go into that than just uh you know one small thing
When we announced 100 Days to Indy, I was very pleased that you would be part of it because you speak frankly. H has the reality show changed relationships between the drivers or revealed how they've always been? Because, for instance, there, again, there's this storyline that things are prickly amongst the Pen Penske stars. Is that played up for the cameras or is there, there actual friction that we never got to see in the past? I think it's been great, honestly. I, I I think that there's always more going on than what people know about. Um, you know, when it comes to the feelings between drivers, uh, but you know, this this community has also been good. Like everyone kind of has a good mutual respect. I think there are some people that don't like each other, of course, as is always in a professional sporting environment. But uh, but I think Under Day Cindy has done a great job. I mean, I've enjoyed working with the team. I think they've been awesome. Uh, I, I I do I, I do wish the show got maybe more eyes than than it does currently. I hope that it keeps going out there because this is truly a great way to see uh, into our lives, into how each of us kind of compete. Um, and it means a lot that I actually even got to be a part of an episode. So I think that's cool. Um, and and I hope people enjoy it. I, I, I you know I will be first time viewer myself of the show. I haven't got to see it early uh, or see it early. Uh, I've watched the season so far and I like what they've done. I think with the Penske drama that creates a great television show. So um, you know people love drama. People love to see what's uh, you know what's going on. You know just one level deeper than uh, than the surface. I know you're on the clock because you're spreading the word to other cities and states in hopes of growing the sport. Connor Daly, thank you. Good luck Sunday or Monday if it turns to that. We do want to let everybody know that the show airs tomorrow at 9 o'clock, uh, 100 days to Indy. If you'd like more information about it, wishtv.com. But again, tune in then. And our thanks to Connor Daly as he uh, watches the weather with all of us.